tourism numbers just in from Stats Canada uh, for the months of uh, January through to the end of April uh, up significantly, 8% uh, increase uh, in 2015 over the previous year and this year, uh, year to date, we're already 18.2% over last year's numbers. Uh, British Columbia certainly has reason to be proud. We're leading Canada economic growth, uh, forecast to continue to lead the country both in 2016 and 2017. And I think the numbers we're reporting today with uh, increase in overnight visitors to British Columbia uh, on the tourism sector, it's definitely supporting uh, and, and I guess more validation for the great work that uh, BC's doing. Obviously we're delighted with the kind of growth that we're seeing in our industry and 2016 looks like it's going to be a record-breaking year. We've gone back over a decade to look at the statistics and we know that we're in an unbelievable position right now to break all records. And 2015 was a banner year on top of a banner year so uh, nothing but good news coming out of tourism right now. Everybody's doing really well. It doesn't matter if you're talking to taxi cab operators, hotel operators, uh, tourism uh, sectors from around the province. Uh, and it's not just in the Vancouver uh, Lower Mainland and Vancouver Island. We're seeing it across a number, as, uh, across the province. I was actually up in Quinnell last week. Uh, they're reporting solid numbers for this year as far as a uh, number of the bookings for different hotel and uh, resort accommodations. And I'm also seeing that up in the North Okanagan and the Shuswap region. And so, uh, yeah, I think things are looking good. And as uh, Marsha Walden indicated, it looks like uh, BC, we're set for a, for a boom year.